cancer staging and mistletoe therapy. International Integrated Oncology Training, 2nd Module, Mumbai, 2017. Cancer staging. In our medical schools, we have learned the stage 0 to stage 4 of the cancer. Stage 0 is the high-grade dysplasia. It is here. The cells are differentiating from the normal bodily cells. The same cells undergoing into deeper tissues is stage 1. Stage 2 is still more deeper, affecting the lymphatics. Stage 3 is a stage of angiogenesis when affecting the lymphatics, the arterial supply and the blood supply, where a lot amount is infiltrated and the local growth is expanding. The same local growth when it starts going to different organs of the body is a stage 4 of the cancer. Stage of the cancer is again correlated with the 5 years survival according to the WHO. The stage 0 to stage 1, if detected early and early treatment, can have a 5-year survival of the cancer. Stage 2 is about 93%. As I have said before, it is because of the lymph nodes, so there are chances it can be corrected. Stage 3, the disease is far advanced, so there is a 72% of the cancer. And stage 4 is 22% because there is a metastasis involving the bigger organs, the distant organs and overall affecting the person's body as a whole, the stage 4 cancers are a bit difficult for a 5-year survival and it ranges up to 22%. So why understand cancer staging? According to modern medicine, it is upon the extent of the disease. The type of therapeutic approach, whether surgery, radiotherapy or chemotherapy can be employed. The dosage of radio and the chemotherapy, the prognosis, the research. In integrative medicine, the scope and limitation of treating the disease or integrating along with conventional therapeutic approach, it's very important at this stage to understand that if a strong immunomodulator can be approached along with conventional medicine, it could really benefit the patient. And lastly, to get it's the research. Before we actually understand the role of mistletoe in different parts of cancer and its evolution, let's understand the actual evolution of cancer and its metastasis. Cancer is a genetic disease which is fueled by somatic evolution, meaning the cancer has been there in your body since your genes have been transferred from the mother's womb into yourself. The most common gene which is called the oncogene has been there in the body but at some point of time it gets triggered so during somatic evolution genetic and epigenetic alterations spread through population of pre-malignant or cancer cells now these cells they accumulate progressively over time and they acquire characteristics that enable them to persist within the tissues. For example, an adenocarcinoma of a gallbladder or a pancreas and the cells can spread out and can go to some part of the spine and can get settled there. So it will adapt the, the, the nature of the spine and, and the same cells of adenocarcinoma will undergo a complete transient change there in the spine. So that is where these cells population can actually go in and get settled anywhere and develop a new state of disease there. So these adaptations are basically characterized by an increased evasion of the immune system by formation of tumor growth and metastasis. Coming up as is the somatic cells of the body which is the brain, the blood vessels, the tooth, the skin, the heart. So basically all the cells of the body comes from the somatic cells. The second slide which shows is the, the genetic breakdown and the third the apple having features of the orange. This is exactly what I was trying to explain that the cells, the adenocarcinoma cells when they go up to the spine and they get settled there that's the beauty of nature and the cancer where a new disease is developed at a different site. Let's understand cancer with a complete new perspective called the mathematics of cancer. The tumor growth rate. Human tumor growth rate are approximately exponential when in vivo, which means the rate of growth depends on developmental stage. That means childhood cancers are seen more aggressive than the same cancers seen at a later stage of life. Now, this is challenged by a postulated theory by Gompertz and universal law models, which also says that these rates can change over time. So it can, it may depend. A child may start growing up and the cancer rate may, may slow down or vice versa. So a growth rate of a tumor is best to describe the growth rate in terms of doubling time 
or the time it takes for the population to, of the cells to reach twice its size. Now, the most important is as there is a lack of clinical data at non-symptomatic stages, it can be assumed that two to three decades can elapse between the first carcinogenic stimulus and the emergence of a neoplasm. It is here. It is very important for anyone to undergo pre-cancer checks to find out through investigations if there is any cell in the body which is growing. Lastly, typical doubling times for a tumor is expected between 60 days for aggressive tumors and 100 days for non-aggressive tumors. It is very important for a clinician at this stage because it is 60 days for aggressive tumors. So when he is treating a patient, he should be very well aware of the, the kind of histopathology he is dealing with, especially when it comes to aggressive tumors or non-aggressive tumors. Mathematics of cancer talking about the doubling time exponential growth and its associate concept of the doubling time are clinically relevant therapeutically response human cancer such as a testicular cancer choriocarcinoma have a doubling time which is probably more than one month but something like a squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck region the cancer may develop or may start spreading in the next two months similarly an adenocarcinoma has a period of about three months so you have to be very cautious when dealing with these kind of cancers especially when it comes to squamous cell carcinomas of the head and neck region where you know in two months you have to show enough results or an adenocarcinoma of the colon or gallbladder or pancreas that three months is a time when enough can be shown Mathematics of cancer, talking about the tumor volume and metastasis. A 1 cm spherical tumor contains a volume of slightly over 0.5 cubic centimeter, which says that it has about 10 raised to 5 to 10 raised to 7 cancer cells. Now this is about 1 cm spherical tumor having 10 raised to 5 to 10 raised to cancer cell and because of which it has a great chance of a metastatic spread. If you remember one of the first slide when I showed the staging of cancer which clearly showed that stage 1 to stage 2 is when the cancer cells are actually penetrating deeper into the tissues. So you can imagine a 1 cm uh, tissue growing completely downwards may totally affect the the stage 3 of the cancer or may affect the angiogenetic process and that is where the metastatic process would start immediately. So any tumor which is about 1 centimeter has to be dealt with complete caution. Immunity and staging of cancer. Now one of the most recent advances in immunotherapy has become one of the most promising goals of cancer treatments in modern medicine and CD8 as well as the T-cell mediated cytotoxicity have actually been the beneficial effects of immunotherapy. Periodic immunotherapy is something like mistletotherapy. They resolve the tumor aggressiveness. By, by these immunotherapies, you may not be able to dissolve a tumor completely, but at least you can slow the aggressiveness which it has. You know, and by slowing this aggressiveness, you can give a good quality of life or a prolongivity of life in these patients. By using either a slow stimulating immune modulator or aggressive immune stimulating modulators. So, as clinicians, these are the most common questions which come into our minds when treating a cancer patient. So, what is the safest stage of treating a cancer with mistletoe therapy? At what stage of conventional medicine therapy can I incorporate mistletoe injections? Can I treat the cancer in stage of fulminant metastatic stage? Can I introduce mistletoe therapy in terms of terminal stage of the disease? What do I do if I see the stage of cancer regressing? What do I do if I see the stage of cancer progressing? Now these are the most common questions any clinician is going to get and that is the reason I have developed the further slides which can give you a brief idea of when mistletoe therapy can be started in cancer and how you can employ it and the prognosis when treating at various stages of cancer. Mistletoe therapy in cancer staging zero Carcinoma in C2. The objectives in this stage is tumor staging to remain static because it is locally not advanced. The tumor cells are just differentiating. Now here you require a very strong immune stimulus so that you can achieve which is of tumor static uh, position with the cancer should remain. Number two, 
Most importantly, the choice of conventional medicine according to me in this stage should be surgical. Mistletoe administration should be at the earliest. Dosage, escalating dosages thrice weekly till a strong immune response can be seen. Choice of the host tree is as per protocols. Prognosis is very good at this stage of cancer. Follow up would be three monthly clinical and laboratory check. Mistletoe therapy in stage 1 and 2 of cancer. Now, stage 1 and 2 of cancer is when the immune stimulus is not that competent enough to take care of a stage of the disease at that at that particular stage. So, the tumor has to be limited and confined, but a strong immune stimulus has to be given so that it can be taken care of. Now, at this stage, the patient may be undergoing radiotherapy and chemotherapy, so minimizing, minimizing side effects of radio and chemotherapy. Most importantly, initiation of fever and help maintain a good immunity in this state. Choice of conventional medicine, according to me at this stage, would be surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Missile to administration, very importantly, has to be started pre-surgery, radio or chemotherapy given during these protocols and post-conventional medicine protocols. Advantage is that the immune stimulus is so very well taken care of that these patients would have a good blood parameter so that they can complete any form of conventional medicine protocols and, and patient can be free of the disease at the earliest. Dosages about thrice weekly, escalating dose till a good immune response. Fever, choice of host tree as per protocols. Follow up is three monthly. Now as I have talked about the choice of host tree, as you know mistletoe grows on different host trees, so it is very important for the clinician to evaluate what kind of a preparation would he like to use, either Helixor or Iskador or something like Abnoba. So it is upon the physician to decide what kind of a preparation he would like to use and secondly the host tree can be used as per the protocols suggested. Prognosis in such cases would be good. Mistletoe therapy in stage 3 cancer. Now, stage 3 cancer is a very delicate stage of cancer because it is here, the spread has just begun, and there are all chances that there are metastatic uh, spreads which are going to happen at any given point of time. So, here, a good, strong, and a favorable immune response. So much so that a fever has to be seen during this stage. Fever again has to be differentiated according to pathological fever or according to the physiological fever which has to be very clearly understood by the clinician giving the therapy. Now here again minimizing side effects of radio and chemotherapy. Choice of conventional medicine here would be surgical, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Mistletoe administrations to be started earliest during pre, during and post conventional medicine protocols. Dosage thrice weekly, escalating dose till a good immune response is seen. Fever. Choice of host tree as protocols and after sometimes changing the host tree. Yes, it's a very important uh, choice where it is the clinician who decides if the patient here is at a state where he is not showing a good immune response because stage three is a very critical stage and the, and there are all chances of the spread. So. Uh, a change of the host tree can be suggested during the course of treatment. Follow-up could be monthly and prognosis is good to moderate. Mistletoe in cancer staging 4. A stage 4 basically challenges all possible therapies and one of the main objectives are the tumor related symptoms. It is in this phase where there are few symptoms which can be quite annoying to the patient. That number one is the pain, sleep, appetite and overall general well-being. Stimulate favorable immune response not too strong causing discomfort to the patient. Meaning immune stimulus has to be given in such a way so that it does not cause discomfort in terms of pain, it does not disturb the sleep rhythm of the patient, does not disturb the appetite of the patient, but in the end takes care of the general well-being of the patient. Choice of conventional medicine would be palliative, radio or chemotherapy only if required. Mistletoe therapy is after evaluation of the metastasis and the primary growth size. 
choice of host tree again as per protocols but change of host tree now here again if the patient is not comfortable with a particular uh, missile to series or a particular missile to preparation change of the complete preparation or change of the complete host tree would be completely advisable in order to improve quality of life in these patients dosages twice weekly or maybe three times weekly it depends again on the clinician administering and the patient as a recipient telling the physician as to how he or she is feeling escalating the dose till very importantly the symptomatic response seen in these patients now here the follow up would be a daily evaluation it is very important that post missile to therapy there is a reduction of the painkiller the sleep rhythm has improved patient has started to eat well patient has started to become more mobilized so it depends upon all the dosages and how the patient is responding so daily evaluation in such cases is very important prognosis is poor to moderate summarizing design your protocol clearly with different stage of cancer use immune modulation judiciously change of missile to series and dosages according to various stages and according to your clinical judgment integrate modern therapeutics when cancer staging is progressing and vice versa clinical examination and laboratory findings mandatory when missile to applications for patients on long term therapy bibliography truthaboutcancer.com on the internet gives a clear understanding of four stages of cancer a lot of literature on viscum album extracts and government publications to read about cytogenetics cytokinetics in cancer to read about mathematical models of tissue compression in response in solid tumor development thank you